Y'all went to the pastor and the mother. I mean, y'all know I'm nervous, so I stay nervous. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for just allowing it. It's my first nursery rhyme, but I'm going to bring it in the way that he delivered it. That's it. That's it. The nursery rhyme goes, a wild old owl lived in the oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. <laughs> the less he spoke, the more he heard. <laughs> Why can't we all live like that wise old owl? <laughs> you better say that again. Thinking. See, when someone is talking to you or just giving some advice, some of us just want to talk over that person, or some of us just want to even take over the conversation. But what we fail to do is stop talking so much, look and listen to the wise. Because we can't hear what's being said if we steady talking. Mm. Ah, glory. I went into Thank wise, you, and Thank wise you, means marked by deep understanding, keen discernment, Ooh, and the capability Lord. for sound judgment. Uh -huh. Sound judgment. Thank you, Lord. I went into Proverbs 15 and 14. Uh, says, a wise person is hunger for knowledge, while the fools feed on trash. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What we feed our minds is just as important as what we feed our bodies. Uh -huh. What we read, what we listen to, the people we hang with, the movies we watch are all a part of our mental diet. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So we got to be careful what we feed our minds. These things influence our total health and well-being. Mm -hmm. Matthew 15, 16 through 20 work says, it, it. Don't you understand yet? Jesus asked. Anything you eat passes through the stomach and then goes into the sewer. But the words you speak come from the heart, uh -huh. and that's what defiles you. From, from the heart comes evil thoughts, murder, adultery, all sexual immortality, theft, lying, and slander. These are the things that defile us. Eating with unwashed hands will never defile who we are. You see, we work hard to keep the hair and the clothes done, or should I say, to keep our outer appearance right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But that's not what God is worried about. Uh -huh. God is worried about what's deep in that, Help what's us. deep down inside, the things that can't nobody see. Uh -huh. Help us. Help us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord it's Jesus. The things that came deep down in our hearts, the place where can't nobody see what's important to him. When we give up to him, God makes us different on the inside. He will continue this process as long as we allow him to do so. Yes, yes. God wants us to have healthy thoughts and motives, not just not just healthy bodies. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians 2 and 9 says, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. Amen. We can't begin to imagine all that God has for us both in this life and the life thereafter. He will, he will recreate new heavens and new earth. Isaiah 65 and 17 tells us that. Revelations 21 and 1 also tells us that. And we will live with him forever. Until then, his Holy Spirit comforts and guides us to the eternal future that awaits. He gives us strength and courage to press on in this life. Yes. Uh -huh. My question to us tonight is that we have to buckle down and listen to our leaders, our pastors, our mothers, our elders, our missionaries, our evangelists, and even prophets if we have them. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We have to buckle down and listen to our leaders. Our leaders are translating the word, the word from the wildest owl we yes. all know. Yes. Remember, I spoke. Proverbs 15 and 14. Uh -huh. Are we going to be the wise person, wise person or are we going to be the fools? Mm. My God. Amen. Amen. Amen.